Have you heard about something at campgrounds called the 10 year rule? There is something about this rule, or maybe we should really say a not enforced rule that campgrounds won't always tell you. In this video, we're gonna break down what that rule is and why we have never had an issue getting our 18 year old RV into campgrounds. So real quick, I wanna take a minute to just introduce myself and who we are in case you're seeing this video for the first time to our channel. I am Charity and my husband Ben and I are now on year five, yes? 2022 marks year five of RV life for us. And we've made some mistakes along the way, discovered some awesome hacks and made a few upgrades. So this channel is here to both educate and entertain you. So what is this 10 year rule that people talk about in the RV world? Well, this rule is a rule that some campgrounds have. The RVs must be no more than 10 years old in age. Now this is more common in snowbird states like Arizona and in Florida. And most of the time this rule is posted on the website for the park. And you can always ask if you call to make a reservation as well, if the park or campground has this particular rule. Why this 10 year rule. Well, at a basic level, it's not so much about the appearance of an RV as far as age is concerned, as it is about maintenance issues that could go wrong with an older RV unit. No campground owner wants a drivable RV that's leaking oil on the campsite or worse yet, a leaking wastewater tank. I mean, leaking poo would just be disgusting. <laughs> Oh, dude, that is nasty. And what campgrounds won't tell you is there is usually a way around this rule. We have an 18 year old RV and I'm gonna tell you a little secret in just a few minutes about how we have never been turned away at a campground due to the age of our RV. Now, since we're talking about campgrounds, we did want to let you in on something else that campgrounds won't always tell you. And that is, is they get cancellations all the time. So even though at the time of this video release, it is now June and you might be seeing that campgrounds are already booked for summer, that doesn't mean that you still can't pick up a reservation that somebody canceled. Now there's two ways to do this. One is you can keep stalking that campgrounds website to see if they have an opening for the dates that you're looking for, or you can keep calling and bugging the campground manager on the phone or you can use RV to set up a sold out search and have RV book the campground for you. Now, if you're looking at some bucket list type destinations like Glacier National Park, Yellowstone, the Smoky Mountains, I guarantee you those campgrounds book up nearly a year in advance. If you wanna ask me how I know, well, it's because we've done some of those destinations within the last year. And I personally had to book some of them eight months in advance to secure our site but using RV's sold out search service could be your best bet at being able to hit up one of these popular destinations this summer. Also, RV Search Hub makes looking for campgrounds in a given geographical area super simple with the ability to run a search for up to five locations in less than 45 seconds and then book the one that's right for you in just one click. This compared to having to use multiple websites to look for a campground with availability. RV is a great new way to be able to streamline your trip planning process, and we are loving the convenience and time savings that their website provides. You can visit gratefulglamper.com forward slash RV or learn more at the link in the description below. So how do we get around the 10 year age rule? But more importantly, how can you get around this rule too? Just remember, there are a lot of RV parks and campgrounds that don't have this 10 year rule. And because of that, we've only ever run into this rule two times in the last five years that we have been on the road. Well, one way you can get around this rule is to buy a brand new or newer RV. It's not what we've done though. Our RV is 18 years old and we personally do not feel it's wisdom to purchase a vehicle that's brand new due to the rate of depreciation. Now, this year has been an interesting thing when it comes to used vehicles and RVs and depreciation, which would be a whole nother video in and of itself. However, we do have a whole video for you about why we chose to buy our RV used. And I'll put a link for that when this video is over where you can learn more. If our solution to get around this 10 year rule is not by going out and buying a brand new RV, what have we done? to bypass this rule. Well, here's how we handle a reservation if we come across a campground that we want to stay at that has this rule. Call the campground and explain that your RV is X number of years old, but that it is in excellent condition and very well maintained. Then ask if you can email or text a current photo of your RV 
to show them that this is the case. Another thing to note is that some RV models haven't changed their exterior design in more than a decade. So, I mean, think about this, right? A 15-year-old Airstream exterior looks pretty stinking close to a brand new Airstream exterior if it's been well taken care of. And we're good? Yep. We're filming? Yep. We're rolling? Is this thing on? <laughs> okay. Roll. Okay. So first of all, just remember, there are a lot of RP. RP. RP? Instead of RV. RP. RP. What's an RV? What's an R RP park? <laughs> Recreational pool? There. Oh, gosh. There. Just get the little, these ones off. Okay, there. There. This one. There. Well, one way is to buy a brand new or newer RV. Now that's... Brand new or newer? Yeah, brand new or newer RV. Oh, gotcha, that was pretty fast. Brand new or newer. Okay. It's a bus with three air conditioners. Oh. It's a green bus. Green bus. It's a schoolie. Ben wants you to come onto Discord. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's, he thinks Discord's amazing. It's cool, seriously. Talking to the microphone. She's being sarcastic, but she wants me to talk into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you want to go let, check let, out. Let, blah, 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 blah. Let's talk about it in the next video. No, this video too. This video is going to be every more video. Of a short video. Yeah. You had a bug. You really did have a bug on your baby face. See what I have to put up with? <clears throat> so, go check out Discord. Oh my gosh. It's cool. There's all kinds of different RVers in there that have class A's, class C's, fifth wheels. So if you are an RVer and you have one of those, then you want to go check out this group. And we are in there too, in chatting with you guys and all the other RVers too. So we want to make it the biggest community for RVers. So go check out the link below. Discord is pretty cool. It is. So what do you think of this 10 year rule? Have you ever run into a problem staying at a campground with a rig that's 10 years or older? What has your experience been in regards to getting around this rule? You'll have to let us know in the comments below, but not only us, the RV community at large. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link for that video we did about why we choose to buy used, especially when it comes to RV right up here. This video is pretty eye-opening, so I think you're gonna find it helpful. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.